What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, and testing negative for all those viruses if you had to take a test. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Virus Update for Wednesday, October 15th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses out there, and here in the United States and the rest of the Northern Hemisphere, we're starting to head into the colder months, which means the levels of viruses may start to go up. COVID's currently dropping from its current summer uh, wave that we had. We're on the backside. We're actually on the tail end of it at this point, but uh, flu and other viruses... Yeah, they're starting to make a comeback, and in some cases, flu never left, but uh, flu season's just around the corner. You need to be informed of what's going on with these viruses, and before you know it, winter will come, and yes, we will have another COVID surge. Want to stay informed with the viruses? Subscribe to my channel down below, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Alrighty, we got to start off with flu today, and we got several things for flu. Perhaps a sign of what's to come. Hey, South Dakota reports four early flu cases. That's going to be the theme here with these flu reports, early. Uh, flu cases have been reported, though their COVID numbers are down at this time. Like I said, here in the United States, in most places, the COVID wave has peaked. We'll talk about more as to uh, where it's just now finally peaking for COVID in the United States. we got to go international. And we got to go to this. Japan sees early flu activity with school closures. Yeah, things are not uh, going so good in Japan right now. Japan has seen early and severe influenza activity this season with health officials declaring an influenza epidemic earlier this month after viral activity has shuttered. Now, more than 100 schools, and as of October 10th, 6,013 cases of influenza virus have been recorded and 287 people were hospitalized for the illness. According to Nature, more than half of those hospitalized are children under the age of 14. So uh, flu is getting quite serious over there and they take it serious, which is why more than 100 schools have been shut down here in the United States. You know the deal. We wait for it to get so bad that there's not enough staff or teachers or so many kids are out sick. And ooh, ooh, uh, so many people have called out sick. Ooh, maybe we need to close for a day or two. That's about what we do here in the United States. But internationally, some countries take it much more serious. So Japan, big problems, but it doesn't stop there. Thailand struggles with influenza outbreak. Over 700 thousand cases you heard me correct 700,000 cases and 61 deaths with the number of influenza patients in Thailand surpassing 700,000 and uh, 61 deaths reported the Department of Disease Control in Thailand has issued an emergency alert uh, I would think they have to because that is a lot of cases uh, for a country that is nowhere near the size of what we are here in the United States so yes, this is not good. Some places are seeing early and quick rises in flu, but we did kind of get some hints that this could happen. Remember Australia, New Zealand saw that real fast surge. While we were experiencing summer, they were dealing with winter over there. And uh, well, now it's starting to translate and become reality. Of course, we'll get the update of the UK tomorrow. Although I don't know if we'll put that in tomorrow's video or Friday's video. More on that at the end of the video. Uh, yeah, it's going up, and unfortunately, this is not good now. We need to take a look at this. Uh, long COVID, Australia. 56% of Australians suffering from long COVID still had resistant, persistent symptoms six months after their initial infection, according to a new study from the Australian National University. So, that's obviously uh, something that we need to keep an eye on. Speaking of long COVID, let's just switch to this real quickly. I saw a friend on X post about uh, brain fog the other day in Google Trends, and I said to myself, you know what? Why don't we talk about that on the video? So we're just going to do one Google Trends search today. It's been a while since we've done one. And brain fog is what I decided to uh, type in and take a look at this since the early days of the pandemic. Search interest for brain fog has gone up. As we know, the 
uh, COVID virus can cause neurological issues. It can accelerate uh, dementia, and maybe if you were in the early stages, it can cause a whole bunch of other things. Even younger people with long COVID can have issues with brain fog. So that is really serious and interesting to see that over the period of time, it just continues to go up with each and every wave. I mean, it's down from where it was at the highest point it hit, but again, the overall, it's, it's not trending back down. You can see here, it's not going back to what it was in 2019, at least not at this point. So, yeah, not a good thing to see more people searching for that. Now moving on to one piece of CDC data that we actually have. And uh, you're going to be really interested to know. Yes, there was actually an update to the CDC measles track. I don't think we have any of the other data. In fact, when we get to COVID uh, wastewater, we'll just briefly take a look at some of the CDC pages. Because I was shocked when I refreshed this a little bit earlier to see Hey, it actually updated, but here we go. As of October 14th, 2025, a total of 1,596 measles cases have been confirmed. Measles cases were reported in the United States. Uh, yeah, this is continuing to go up. I'm starting to lean more towards the idea that we may hit 2,000 measles cases this year just because of recent outbreaks and anything else that could potentially pop up. We got the rest of this month. We got November. We got all of December. Yeah, this is not good uh, whatsoever. Uh, let's come down here. Uh, so again, uh, in this year, we have under 5 years old, 430 cases. That's 27% of the cases. 5 to 19 years old, 626 cases. 20 plus years old, 527 cases. Age unknown, 13. Vaccination status, 92% were vaccinated. 12% hospitalized for measles. And just only three deaths reported with measles. All right, moving on to this now from Sarah Ann Willett. Alaska and West Virginia are the outliers right now, higher than the rest of the country, talking about COVID here, and just starting to peak for that summer wave. If you're in portions of the country with active transmissions, she says the best things you can do are to get your booster and wear a respirator in shared spaces. Respirator meaning mask and Again, you know my channel policy. If you want to get a booster, fine. If you want to get a vaccine, fine. If you don't, that's your prerogative. That's fine, too. Do whatever feels right to you. Alrighty, just wanted to share that, hey, Alaska and West Virginia are actually a little late with uh, the peaking of their search. All right, do we have anything to show here on this uh, European page today? I don't think we do. Let's see, can we proceed with this? We may have some levels here that uh, might have updated. Let's see, I'm looking for dates here. No, so we're going to skip over this today. But what we are going to take a look at is air qualities in the United States. Uh, maybe we'll get some more international stuff tomorrow. I know uh, we will get the UK. We're probably not going to get to reporting that until Friday. I have to go work a little further out of the area tomorrow. So we may either do an out in the wild update or, I don't know, maybe something different tomorrow. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, Washington and Oregon, bad air quality. San Francisco area. Yeah, just outside of you, like San Jose, Santa Cruz, a couple of uh, Sacramento, few bad air quality readings there. Some in the plains still continue to be a problem. Look at Nebraska and Omaha still dealing with some problems there. Chicago also dealing with a few problems today. Alrighty, moving on now. Let's take a look at what's going on in Pinellas County, Florida. And we do see a heck of a lot of uh, calls. Some of them are sick person calls. Some of them are just a bunch of other things. Taking a look at what happened in Philadelphia, 759 EMS incidents reported on Tuesday. Taking a look just outside of Philadelphia in Montgomery County. Hey, I'll be in that county just about an hour from now. And uh, we do see that there are some uh, calls going on there. Again, not terribly busy. Taking a look now what's going on with Chester County where... Uh, different story. It is pretty busy. You do see sick person listed twice, respiratory difficulty listed a few times. We need to refresh this. And a whole bunch of other calls going on. So, yeah, you get the idea here. Busy there. And guess what? Finally, we can bring back Bucks County, Pennsylvania once again. You can see there's currently nine EMS calls. Well, actually, make that 11 EMS calls there at the moment. Just various different things going on. And we need to stay with Pennsylvania for just another moment. There's been another change to wastewater. I know. They keep messing with the data in Pennsylvania. I don't know what's going on. Uh, one minute it's moderate, one minute it's low, then it's back to moderate again. Now it's back to low again. 
And you can see here, there's clearly no evidence of the data we saw over the weekend. Remember the weekend, it showed it went up. Now it dropped. So I don't know what's going on with the data here. The good news is uh, this is for COVID. Uh, influenza A and RSV continue to remain flat, but this uh, continuous changing of the data, and I have a screenshot. I believe I um, posted a picture over on X. In fact, uh, can we go there real quickly? Yeah, let's look at it. We should we should look at it. I want you to see this. Here's what Pennsylvania looked like over the weekend. There you go. You can see. It was listed at moderate. It went up. Now they changed it today. There's no evidence of that whatsoever anymore. Let's uh, go back to that. And here's what we see today. Don't know why this keeps happening. It is really uh, driving me absolutely nuts. Uh, here's the hospital situation in Pennsylvania. Hey, the hospital situation is doing fantastic. There are a lot of green hospitals. Yeah, there's a few yellow hospitals, but I'm not terribly concerned. New Jersey does have a couple hospitals with problems. Cooper University Hospital, full and total. Divert for patient volume. Inspire Medical Center, Mannington. Specialty issue. Mollica Hill, psychiatric issue. And that is it. Hey, do you know of any other states that uh, do a dashboard like this for uh, hospital status? I've been trying to find more. I would love to include other states than just a couple here in the Mid-Atlantic, like maybe somewhere in the Northwest, the Midwest, the South, or the West Coast. If you know of anything like this, uh, let me know down below. And yes, I do know about Maryland. Uh, I think they just redid that dashboard, so maybe we will throw that back into the mix. All right, let's see if there's any update from New York State today. I've been waiting for this. No, nothing from New York yet today. All right, we'll get to New York again in a future video. Let's take a look at what's going on with wastewater. Uh, COVID is listed moderate across the United States. Low in the south, all the other regions are moderate at this time. Medium, moderate, doesn't matter. I should be saying the word medium because they're going at medium here. If this were the CDC, which does not update at the moment, uh, well, then we would be saying the word moderate. I'm so used to saying that from the CDC. All right, let's take a look at wastewater in, how about Utah, Salt Lake City? What's going on there? We'll just run through all the viruses. Uh, COVID is low. RSV is low. Influenza A is low. Influenza B is low. So we're not seeing those rises yet for influenza. Uh, we also see norovirus is medium. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, hepatitis had some detections back in August. Now let's go find somewhere else where maybe we're seeing a completely different story going on. Uh, how about we go down to, I don't know, let's check on New Orleans. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Let's see, is flu activity picking up there yet? Well, COVID is finally medium, but uh, I got to be honest with you, they're probably going to change that to low pretty soon. Influenza A. Just a few detections. Not really going steadily upward just yet. That may look different in November. Influenza B, not much of an issue. Norovirus is a problem here. And norovirus is continuing to go up. But again, flu, not a real issue here yet. But give it time. I think we're going to be dealing with some uh, problems. Let's go down here to the Gulf Coast of uh, Mississippi. COVID still listed high. Uh, flu, not much of an issue here. Norovirus is medium at this time. Uh, let's go to somewhere in the northeast, shall we? Uh, look at Montpelier, Vermont. COVID is listed high here. It did experience a little bit of a rise. Uh, not seeing any issues with the other viruses just yet. That is good to report. Now let's take a look at what's going on in the Midwest. How about Warren, Michigan? And we can see here, COVID levels at this time, uh, they're doing okay. And we're not seeing big rises for the other viruses just yet. And now finishing to one more spot. We're going to go out to the West Coast. And let's see what's going on in, how about, uh, yeah, why not? Boise, Idaho. West Boise, Idaho. We can see COVID is medium. And norovirus is also listed medium. Everything else is fine. Again, we're watching to see if influenza and RSV make their entrance, which I think they will by the time we get post-Halloween. And really, that is the big takeaway for today. Uh, Japan is seeing that early flu activity, and they're seeing the big problems over in Thailand. Uh, we'll get our update from the UK tomorrow. Uh, we will have another video again tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be out in the wild or here. I'm thinking out in the wild tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's update, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course, leave your comments down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for watching.